All right, we're going to be checking another uh, common function called includes in Salesforce and how to use that on a multi uh, select pick list. So if we scroll down, uh, we're still looking at this details multi select pick list field. Earlier, we tested a validation rule that says, uh, you know, we're checking for the amount of selections on a uh, multi select and then throwing uh, a validation. So the first one is this one value can't be three. And then the, the one that we're going to test right now is detail one and three cannot be selected at the same time. So here we've got detail one and three selected. Let's just go detail one and two. So it saves. And then if I try to change this to detail one and three, we'll get our new validation. So uh, if we pop over here to our formula, let's take a look at the includes function. So uh, I'm saying that within this pick list, multi-select pick list field of traits, uh, I can't include detail one and detail three in the same uh, pick list and, or uh, selection. Now, if I come down here and go to includes, let's go ahead and just read this definition. Uh, so you're entering your multi-select pick list field uh, and then you're entering that uh, value for the text literal. That's what this part is right here. Uh, and then the definition is determines if any value in a selected multi-select pick list field equals a text literal um, you specify. So if the value is detail one and detail three in the same selection, detail one and three cannot be selected at the same time. Um, multi-select pick list fields, I, you've heard me talk about it in other videos, not the best way to kind of set up reporting. There's some, there's definitely some pitfalls to it. Uh, but you can use some of these functions to uh, kind of get some better uh, user experience or, or answer some questions.